hello amazing people welcome back again to my channel you know how we do it here it's your girl uj so today quick one i want to talk about something i saw this video on the internet of this wise lady she's about to review one of the Ghanaian cuisine and i will say to myself is Ghanaian cuisine worth the hype let's take a look at this video to see if it is really worth the hype the reason why people are hyping Ghanaian cuisine, saying a lot of things about Ghanaian cuisine, you know, giving their honest review about the Ghanaian cuisine. Let's watch this video together, then we'll come back and react on the video. Ghanaian food, known to be one of the most delicious cuisines in the whole world, but is it worth the hype? It's actually the certified. We're about to find out. Walking into this place was like stepping into the heart of Ghana itself because the vibes were so immaculate. When I saw that menu though, I had no idea what to get, but fear not, for we had our Ghanaian Einstein, our waitress, who told us all her recommendations. For drinks, I tried the classic super malt, and at first sip, yeah, it tasted of straight medicine. But then weirdly, it grew on me six out of ten. And before I knew it, boom, an aroma of Ghanaian stuff starters arrived first the chuffy and i thought yeah it's just meat nothing too special but when i tell you never in my life have i had a meat so juicy so tender so exquisite i couldn't believe it 10 out of 10 and that kelly welly guys fun fact about me is that plantain is in my top five favorite foods but after this yeah plantain is now my number one because it was cooked to perfection how could this get any better i asked myself but then we had the mains and the portions were so huge it could feed a whole family first i had the wacky eye which is basically basically rice and beans and the tilapia with yam where both of these were equally divine despite having bones in that fish what did i expect come on because it's a fish we then had the jollof rice with chicken and oh my days Ghanaians, you guys actually know how to cook meat because that chicken my mouth was watering just thinking about it finally we had the fufu palm soup and it was so funny because every other table got these water tubs to wash their hands except us because i don't think the owners expected us to use our hands but today guys i decided to be one with the Ghanaian culture and use my hands apparently you don't chew the fufu at all you just swallow it and so at first when i did it yeah i thought yeah guys this is the moment i'm gonna choke and die because i was doing it so wrong but then our waitress once again saved the day taught me how to do it and it was an explosion of Ghanaian spices guys Ghanaians mean business when it comes to food 10 out of 10 actually certified when it comes to food please leave it for the Ghanaians because Ghanaians knows how to do things when it comes to food. They knows how to combine all the raw ingredients, or to how to combine this food to this food to give you one yummy, delicious, tasty, healthy food. Let's take a look at this video again. Mm -hmm. you like it? I love it, but it's very spicy. Should I bring you water? <laughs> Should I bring you water? I don't know if water is enough. <laughs> you, you like ice cubes? Milk. <laughs> Is there milk? <laughs> so tell me. Mm, it's not. It's not at all. Sometimes this is. No, no, no. I just. It was in the wrong hole. <laughs> <laughs> hello guys it's your boy at africans tj and yes for the first time in my life i was surprised by my two white friends crazily they prepared for me a wonderful african cuisine specifically a Ghanaian dish a very popular one of course known as fufu and the peanut butter soup they said if you are inviting a Ghanaian to your home make sure you add egg to all his meal even when you are giving the person water this worked actually yeah i mean the most interesting part of the video is watching my two friends eat with their hands for the first time they trying this for the first time busted my brain guys like let's enjoy this video i don't know what i love it more the soup or the eating with hands <laughs> Yeah, there's a reason why the African people eat with the hand because it gives a different, it's a different feeling altogether. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and it's a different experience, you know. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And we do believe that it also gives there's a form of respect to the food. If you have food with soup, when you're okay. eating soupy food, you need to use your hand to eat that soupy food. Mm -hmm. Because then sometimes <laughs> because it has a lot, of, you know, spicy and stuff. So when you're taking it, you can control how you consume it. Mm -hmm. That's a mix, though. But I'm too white for the spice nuts. <laughs> I am more, I am more white than I. Love it. it has a lot of ingredients that helps boost the immune system. Yes, yes. English, exactly. And there are some pretty ingredients that she used. Can you please mention some ingredients? How many peppers? Mm -hmm. What are you? Onion. Mm -hmm. And um, the 
peanut butter. Peanut butter and then uh, tomato paste. Even this is ginger. 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 ginger, which is very, very good for the African man. The moment I mention African man, look at their faces. Look, 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 look. <laughs> wow, see, bad girls. Daddy, you think I am for my girls? Hey, tell it, boy, let me get a little hold on. Hey, I call you, but I don't know you. Boy, boy. Oh, don't like, bro. No, no, no. We don't use young like Somalia, but Ghana, the Indian, the Saudi, the Saudi. For what? Let me get one more. Bro, bro, bro. Hey, yeah, boy. Who is Ghana? Ghana. Oh, 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 like in Panifono, I'm going to be power in because it's disrespect. You don't give the respect. Even me cry, who yes I didn't cry, me me coffee, me, me coffee bro. Oh okay, Ghana they was like oh the fuck for two to yeah. do anymore. Ah. Why a bear bone? But the truth be told, eh, if you're a foreigner trying the Ghanaian cuisine for the very first time, you may not like it. But once you try it and you eat the food with satisfaction you eat the food like you mean it without having to squeeze your face or make the food look like it's disgusting you will sure come back for more and have a taste of this food because i am talking from experience the first time i, I saw the ghanaian cuisine i was like i cannot try this till i eventually tried it and as it stands right now i'm addicted to the ghanaian cuisine it is not just me there are a lot of people that have tried the ghanaian cuisine and they are addicted to the ghanaian cuisine this first video that i shared at the beginning of this video the white lady that tried and gave a review of the ghanaian cuisine she gave the food 10 over 10. initially she was not finding it until she got it and she knew out to eat the Ghanaian cuisine then she knew that oh i have been missing for a very long time and she decided oh, i'll be coming here or i'll be coming to this place to eat this Ghanaian cuisine that is what happened to foreigners for the first time whenever they try the Ghanaian cuisine they will have this kind of weird kind of feeling or weird kind of taste so they eventually tried it and retry it and retry it again and they keep coming back that is the funniest thing the funniest part of it is that they keep coming back to have a face of the Ghanaian cuisine. So when I say people, Ghanaian cuisine is what they hype, it is actually what they hype because a lot of people have been hyping this Ghanaian cuisine and people are asking, what is so special about this Ghanaian cuisine? Why is the Ghanaian cuisine like light soup? Why is it looking watery? And you forget the name is light soup. So once a name is light soup, you should expect it to be lighter and when you taste the light soup you will know that this soup is actually the light soup and it is filled with a lot of yumminess and healthy delicious in fact the taste is out of this world so when people ask me is Ghanaian food what's the hype my response to them is yes a very big yes cra a very big yes Ghanaian cuisine Ghanaian food is what the bigger bigger biggest hype i don't know what you think about this if you are a first timer and you've tried the ghanaian cuisine please drop your comments below the comment section and tell me your first experience trying out the ghanaian cuisine and if you have not tried it out hey charlie what are you waiting for go and have a taste of the ghanaian cuisine and come back to this comment section and give me a feedback give me your honest review about the ghanaian cuisine thank you for watching my videos i've come to the end of this video bye